hello guys. Today we're gonna draw some of my favorite object, which is a uh, lotus. I personally find lotus a very very interesting object to to draw and to depict. Um, you know Mornet, which is a is a pretty standard impressionist. He likes to use the uh, Lotus as one of the experiment objects, and he has plenty of creation with with the beautiful, beautiful lotus. I wanted to quickly show you guys how we can create a very dreamy, impressionist or post-impressionist style with our digital painting tool. So today I'm g we're gonna still use ISKN and the repaper tool, and let's get started. We wanted to focus on the reflectance of different very beautiful uh, light settings and uh, so let's see with lotus because we're not depict depicting any single object it's more like a scenery thing so we wanted to select the paper so using a dark dark tone paper with some f um, some of the uh, Texture. See what the option uses. Use a complete blank black paper for now. And then let's see. Um, we need to turn on our. Turn our drawing pad on by pressing the button on top until it turns white. Now it turned on, and we wanted to have the uh, like first layer of the sketch. So it's gonna be a e relatively quick session. It's not like something dramatically over detailed. I need to use our eraser to erase some of that is very high devil blob to create this watery effect so this painting is more about the impression it's more about the impression that a watery environment gave you it's less about how accurately you can depict an object it's nothing about the accuracy it's more about the feeling and I have the eye push brush and have more even more glowing more towards light spectrum color more opacity we're gonna have layers over layers on this color and more opacity So with this object we wanted to emphasize, we basically draw things out of our imagination or some sort of reference. Um, you can have your own settings with the details and stuff, but there are certain rules we should stick to. For example, the object before us should be slightly bigger than object far away from us should be slightly smaller dramatically smaller depending on the scale you're doing so there's some fundamental rules we need to stick with we're creating this this very um, dreamy environment And 
adding that, we need to have another size of purple. So, to have the uh, ideal color of the purple. We want to have opacity. We do this purple layer on top of other layers. It's all on the same layer, by the way, with these uh, environmental settings. Because we just get started. This dreamy feeling to the water of the body. And at the same time, we can adjust the opacity of this layer to something make us happy. At the same time, we wanted to have a little, I would say, personality to our drawing. I call this personality, feel free to use other words to describe it. I wanted to have the little touch like um, it's something almost like on a canvas and has this texture to it to achieve that we need to use another layer and use chalk chalk and then we started to use the chalk to to kind of depict certain texture we want it to resemble. Feel free to use the uh, felt to add some interesting layer to it. With felt, you probably want it to have some dark layer of dark green towards it. If it's large size but good opacity, I started to do this. So we are blending with a little detail and texture to get to the end. Feel free to use other color with felt as well to explore this. And you will have some very interesting finding with felt. So it's like a wet media almost, but it has some rooms, soft edge and everything. Eraser, and we wanted to. Oops, too much. We wanted to erase some of that. A bit far. Because we're only drawing vertically, we need to have some, um, some kind of watery reflectance on that. So. We basically mixed up all the media. Let's go. Start Do this over again with our hopes. Do this over again with our felt. Adding and then blending.
the front, the uh, little change with the for example some color like purple like that, be extra careful. In the back, you can be more bold and be more flexible. This will describe our flow of the river. So we're basically adding this interesting description of the learning waves here. we started to depicting the um, main object on the canvas we need to use some pencil to draw the lotus leaf and the uh hi coflex how are you how's your day glad to see you Glad to see you there. So we wanted to be able to draw on top of the canvas with some lotus that has a shape. Some are open, some not. Some has complicated structure. Hey Larry. My day my day's been kind of busy. <laughs> I have so many meetings and eventually I just start started to okay, I wanted to relax myself a little bit, get myself kind of into this uh, peaceful mood. So I started to quick start the quick session with drawing. I probably need to go back to work and write more code tonight, but I started to give myself a break right now just to enjoy the current moment. Drawing and... How's how's your day? So these are uh, depicting the basic shape of our, our lotus leaf. We can have a lot of the lotus leaf. The rule of thumb is that you wanted to put more details on the object in the front and less details of the object in the back. The object in the front is relatively clearer. I wish you guys have a great day. A great day so far? We're gonna have some interesting thing created with this canvas was black and pink. So stay tuned. I'm excited to see what we can create with black and pink. Thank you. Thank you. That's a that's a large compliment. That's something I work hard to achieve so that people watching me draw they feel very relaxed. There's sometimes it's just unbearable busy or sometimes unbearable shitty days that if you watch me drawing feel it's you're happier. depicting the the little object that we probably wanted to highlight later. So 
they usually lotus grow in those clusters, so you want it to be able to depict that cluster or a group of plants better. And just uh, when you draw this, just completely make yourself relax. It wouldn't be like any other portrait painting. You need to go to the crazy details and tighten your your muscles or highlighting or just keep focusing on those details so that you don't create a monster. <laughs> With this, it's it's so easy and so relaxed. You just just take your time and get there, and you will get there. So we we said that we wanted to use a lot of pinks to highlight a blob of pink. In this particular case, I will use the felt because it's a happy intermediate media we can use. We all have different layers of pink on our painting. So, if we find this too light, we just increase it a little bit. So, we are doing the uh, pink layer now. Highlight some of the pink ones. We wanted to give this a dreamy, dreamy feel. So the dark background, black dark background with pink color is highly important in our drawing. And uh, feel very relaxed with your hand because your if your hand muscle is tightened, it's harder to kind of get it efficiently there on paper so just relax your hand muscle you go over the the paper and you don't need to be accurate in this at all center There are different types of pink. Some of them are redder, some of them are more like to another extreme. We wanted to use all of them. Hello, Black Ghost. You're still trying to wake up? When did you go to bed last night? When did you go to bed? I have a difficult time waking up every morning. I have a difficult time fall asleep, just like when I was a kid. It's like I have this p perfect personality or habit to not to go to sleep and not to wake up. They call that pro procrastination, but I don't think so. I'm just very, uh, I'm just a night owl, just typical night owl. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. Pokemon Go? Okay. probably need to adjust the uh, camera a little bit so that the uh, the uh, angle is not tilted. My cat sometimes messing with my camera so it will <laughs> fall on the ground. to have the golden color layer on top of this layer we don't need to change the layer
Are you guys classmates? <laughs> Show me your cat. <laughs> sure, no problem. Give me one sec. I'm gonna take my cat. Yeah. You got ear mic? No. 
color. So it's a safe color. Um, how come the conversation about is about how to eat a cereal? <laughs> More energy efficient. Well, we're talking something deep right here. So we wanted to create the lotus. So um, <laughs> so black goes just answer like no, <laughs> it's fun gonna be like a cat and know exactly what you want, but refuse to do it. Are you a cat or something? If you spill something in your chest, then you're gonna lick it away. <laughs> like the cat licking the chest. Have you guys seen like the cat sitting like a human on a chair and lick himself? So we wanted to have the uh, glowing effect of the lotus leaf, it's a post-impressionist style. We can have some flexibility how we break down the solar array, array, solar light and give it a more modern look.
now we can see that we have a lively, relative warm color layer. We wanted to give a cold color layer on top of it. And using felt as well, and lay that on top of these. to give the uh, we wanted to give the little glowing effect and we already tr already almost achieved that by adding these kind of texture to this. Uh, different people have different perception to color. For me, I have an eye condition that makes me extremely sensitive to, uh, to light. So I probably see different light than others based on what the doctor said. I have a abnormal optic disc on my right eye. <laughs> The conversation goes so deep, oh God. <laughs> so the the thing that I see in nature could be slightly more colorful than a normal photo. And sometimes when I create an object, I wanted to show people like what I see, or I wanted to show people what's possible to see. Thank you. Thanks for subscription. I was about to give my, <laughs> my own subscription away because I can gift a sub, but I noticed that I accidentally <laughs> gave that away <laughs> on some el someone else's channel, <laughs> and I don't remember when I did it. But thanks a lot. So we wanted to have fun. We wanted to have the uh, the effect right here so now we have this watery dreamy look we wanted to create more details on top of these so that the the real object will pop and stand out to make things stand out To create those detailed effect and make our lotus pop, we need to dim the light but make the transparency stronger so we can focus on the tip of the lotus. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> is that a chicken or something? What is what's that emoji? Looks like a chicken to me. I have created a set of my own emoji and it seems that I need subs to up upload them and I don't know how like actually Twitch works so sometimes I would accidentally delete some of my own own videos and don't know where to, to find it back so I'm still kind of getting used to the Twitch environment <laughs> My emoji is nothing cool. It's just I designed a bunch of ducks. I can show you actually, like why not? Um, I myself is a programmer, so I write programs and I would I will sometimes create the uh, games and this is one of the game I created before. So <laughs> you, you dead. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> so I create this game you basically hatch the duckling and the duckling hatch that you basically go down and they eat or it's a micro <laughs> do I play wall uh, sometimes I'm not very good my husband play wall I think a black ghost uh, is busy with something. He said like, uh, when whenever he see he he's dead, <laughs> it means that he's busy with something. So this is a uh, the game I've created a while ago that you can you can hybrid the ducks, and I use these ducks as emoji because they can go like into this crazy mode. <laughs> yes, he is pretty good. He is uh he is pretty good. He's one of the top on the server actually. That's why I marry him. So they basically spawn and you will eventually have this colony of ducks. And you can feed the others. Oh, you can eat it. And then you can have different hybrid. <laughs> yeah, the eventually the, the work gonna be take over by ducks because these things float on on the river and ducks the bottom ducks feed the upper ducks. Uh, the upper ducks would sometimes poop to feed the fish. So it's an ecosystem. And you sometimes have the uh, random chance for these ducks to be to be rare. They can be hybrid. So there is a chance that one of the ducks is a hybrid. And you can, for example, sell the egg to get a coin. So they can keep laying egg to get coins. Unless it strike out the balance. And you can see there are different tools you can use. The fly <laughs> the fly bird sometimes steal your egg. So you have to use the owl to chase them away. Or you can put the shrimp to make the fish bigger. And also I have a uh, there's a web version of my cat. I believe it's right here. So let's see. There's a. This is my cat in the web version. <laughs> yeah, 
the uh, the starting point at Array <laughs> is a very interesting <laughs> conversation between mathematician and the programmer. They have a long gone debate on that. Like, where should Array start? A programmer insists that Array start at zero. And it's a rule. <laughs> so my favorite book, I create a version of the favorite book, Little Prince. I'm not sure whether you guys uh, uh, read The Little Prince, but I was learning French. And this book basically tell me to give up. <laughs> Because it's a, it's not a difficult book, but still, like the French, French grammar, it's difficult to. Uh, I wish I I I don't speak. F I don't speak French. I'm learning French. Crimson fox. <laughs> this is a, this is a fox. This is a little prince. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You'll get there. So let's back to our Okay, I I really want to go. I really want to uh, move to Swan uh French and Switzerland because my friend, my best friend is there. And they, they told me, they keep telling me to come over. I keep telling them I will come over once I got everything settled. But I, I regret not coming over when I actually have time and before the pandemic. Now it's like a luxury and almost look like impossible. Yes, I think so. They live near the, uh, the CERN, S-E-R-N, the corner of the France where they have the... Uh, like uh, the particle machine over there. So they are having a wonderful time over French, and they they bought a house near the mountains. Actually, it's right on top of a mountain. Inside the group of mountains. And they have berries, and they harvest different type of fruit. It's a great life. Can't complain anything. So now we have everything sketched and laid out. We wanted to go um, select our color. And started to use these color to highlight certain details on the river. The beauty of the um, felt is that it, it creates this layered structure and you can, once you study it, it's almost like a combination of watercolor and ink color together. It's very, very interesting and I would encourage people to just spend some time with layers and with the, uh, the felt a little bit more because it will create amazing object in the end. Okay, go eat something. Take your time. <laughs> you just don't let that one go. <laughs>
it's almost like we're using a very soft knife to carve certain objects out and make them standing out. Some objects deserve to stand out because their light and shading is just perfect. And we wanted to make sure we display that to our audience. And we're creating this flowing river effect. We're gonna make sure it glows around the object as if there's some depth with our object. And I wanted to basically make sure whoever watching the video or later watch the video from the beginning to the end, even if they fast forward this, they can see the progress and get confidence about this painting because it's nothing difficult to do. It just takes time and takes patience and takes layer on top of layer. And I feel wanted to encourage people to, to do the same. Just grab a piece of pencil, find a digital painting tool, and lay color on top of each other. And the object of the lotus is always wonderful to, to draw. It just serenity and forever forever peaceful in different culture they have this uh, saying or legend or myth about the river after death so in China or in Japan and I believe Japan and Korea they all believe this uh, river of the deceased where they have to go across a bridge forget their past life drink a ball of soup start a new life and that ball of soup will make them forget what happened in their past so this drawing has something to do to remind people maybe there is a river somewhere that they just forget there's some past they just forget maybe it trigger it would trigger some of the common memory amongst all human I think certain flower is considered a sacred flower, like lotus is a sacred flower in a lot of religions. The reason why is that it's floating on this river and when people are staring at it at night, sometimes it, it recalls certain memory that subconsciously they put in their past. And I do have some of that interesting experience where I was staring at this this beautiful art piece photo where the artist, I think is a French artist, depict a group of Native American playing on a glass of ice and there's a blue sky, very very cr clear ice, they're almost like the uh, Native Americans do ice skating. There's nothing emotional about that painting besides the blue sky, everyone happy, but I see that painting, I immediately t started to tear up because I can feel this feeling the artist wanted to convey to the audience that it's just reminiscing a certain thing that is never there anymore. Sometimes we are taught 
at school or we were taught in the book that the Westerners does not have a heart. They just started to conquer other country and basically create colonization. But I feel a lot of people, they have a heart. They, they do sense something and their art piece that's left is just given to the user, to given to the audience. It just immediately pop you to that feeling. And they are great artists. I remember watching that. I remember watching that and start in from that painting. It's a very ordinary painting in the Yale Peabody Museum. I think it's Peabody Museum. I was just standing there alone on this corner where this tiny painting and staring at it and tear all over my face. I think that's the power of art. <laughs> it sounds like a hamburger advertisement. <laughs> you should <laughs> you should starting subtitles for those burger company that just put the caption there and they will make people drew all over this this uh, barbecue meat. By the way, I had barbecue meat this this noon and it's great. I like the crisp, crisp pork skin. I love it. My mom used the air fryer to do it. It smells so good. I like most skin, chicken crisp skin as well and pork crisp skin. There's a um, I believe it's a Southern American food where they just fry, deep fry the pork skin. I love those. Every single time I go to HEB or somewhere, I will just grab several bags and put that, just shuffle that in so that <laughs> they didn't get noticed because otherwise my mom or my husband would take it away from the basket. So we adding this layer to create dramatic contrast to our object. We wanted to lay the dramatic com contrast to the object to several different other layers as well. For example, this purple layer, we wanted to have a little bit of that lay over. So it looks like a flowing river and the flowing river would have this in-depth, deep, dark water with glowing lotus almost like almost like surreal and there's no rule to to tell people what's a good art and what's a bad art it uh, something make you think something make you startle something make you feel peaceful trigger certain emotion they are all art it's a very broad spectrum definition. So we have that. We wanted to use the uh, pen, uh, eraser tool, very large diameter, good opacity. And we wanted to track down to these to make it look blurry. Because the further the object is, the more blurry it's going to look. So it's going to blur. So we have another layer of dark green. We wanted to use a dark green to depict certain missing area, little gap area. So 
so it complements what we previously done, but add certain depth to it. So to create certain depths, you need at least two color to convey to the user there is a depth in there. Usually, you can use certain color that was not too many, too far away, distant from each other. Hi, hi, Max. How's your day? I'm glad you come by and say hi. My <laughs> my is too busy, so I just drop the work. I just say, okay, I'm I'm gonna take a little break, put down the work, and start drawing and sketching. Just keep myself relaxed a little bit, so I don't have to face <laughs> some code. There are times that um, the, uh, the in this very difficult time, the uh, company will follow follow a lot of people or uh, let go a lot of people, and your your tasks with their t basically the tool they created and when I look at those tools first I don't feel happy that I need to maintain someone else work and think about that that person actually lose their job when I look at this I feel very stressed out and I, I find like I could be in their position as well so it's a complicated and not very positive feeling I get it's okay so I'm trying to manage it so tonight I'm gonna code and a little bit more and kind of uh, in a more put myself in a more efficient mode. What about you? What did you do? Since when I have face scan, yesterday I messing with the me like uh, the camera. I always have a camera. It's a Canon EOS something something. Uh, it the the wire, however, the adapter never arrived. So I kind of hack to put things together to make it work. It's it works, but it's a hack. So I still waiting for the adapter to arrive. So that I can zoom in the camera, or put the camera anywhere I want. Currently, it's in a very awkward position right now. It has really good quality. I'm glad it has good quality. Uh, it's a very good camera. I got the top review. I basically, um, me and my husband go through the camera review. He find the camera, probably reading a couple hundred reviews, decided to, this is the way, this is the camera to go. gonna take some stripes of color away I now understand why when they do streaming they put very very heavy makeup on them I completely understand now they have to use a very very thick eyelashes with a lot of eyeliners because when you do the camera thing, you kind of lose certain part of the detail. You don't look like yourself a at all. So I understand why those people do that. I thought it's a hype thing that everyone start doing it just because, but there is an actual reason. Why all of a sudden there are so many people watching? I don't understand what happened. 
I thought it's only like five or something. I don't. I wonder why these people from. And it's it's quiet. I, so I really don't know what's going on. It works like a mist to me. I don't know, like, uh, it's a lot of sudden like that. I don't know. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Is it because of the cat, maybe? Previously I was hugging the cat. Maybe Twitch's algorithm detect cat. <laughs> Immediately started promote me <laughs> because of the cat is de detected. <laughs> Just like the YouTube cat videos. Probably someone put me on their raid, and I appreciate it. Whether it's algorithm or someone just do that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. But if someone put me as a background music, I appreciate it too. I would appreciate someone just use my sound as a background music. If they like my voice more, I would use these, um, this particular speaker because I have this particular speaker that is good quality. We're gonna depict some of the detailed lotus leaf. Um, nothing too extreme. Oh, I see. Yeah, feel free to do everything else while just leave me as a background music. I would appreciate it if someone just randomly chat with me if they find something interesting. So yeah, I, I would feel like I have company. I would really appreciate that. Especially if I'm doing streaming in the middle of the night, I'd really appreciate someone that's <laughs> popping up chatting with me. Because when, when I was doing painting, there sometimes I scared myself <laughs> for looking into the mirror with the stuff that I created. I feel like the object is staring at me. So if there's a live human being talking to me, I feel like, okay, I'm, l I'm much less scared. So we're creating this lotus leaf, and you guys can see that it started to, these little leaves started to pop up. Like, poop, poop, little bubbles popping up. So if you do acrylic pouring, techniques these are the bubble like the they, they call these technique called like um different blend and they pour that on the canvas and then because of the differentiation between 
the oil media and the water soluble media you're gonna have these cells popping up it's really beautiful I do a lot of acrylic painting and acrylic pouring in real life and it's like a chemical chemical experiment almost so if you guys don't know what's acrylic pouring uh, go to YouTube and or any website and search for acrylic pouring you will see what I mean if you guys have any question or anything you want me to draw next I can start preparing and draw things if it happens to be something like I can draw very well I'd love to draw it so this is a actually a very quick sketch with the with all the digital painting techniques. Uh, digital drawing tool is perfect for APs like this because it needs very, very, very strong contrast between different color without making different color pollute each other, which is very easy. It's very easy for those color to pollute each other. If you, for example, don't have a good uh, blending skill or your paint is not some sort of like good quality paint they will blend each other and pollute each other but with digital painting no, nothing like that you need to worry about you just need to focus on your painting and it will take care of the rest for you so we can <coughs> we use a dark layer warm layer dark layer light layer kind of combo so after we draw the highlighted yellow we're gonna go back to the dark layer again and compensate on that with our dark color and we usually for the dark color we use um, almost like a glowing blue so that color if you go uh, go to lighter section is a glowing blue actually so you would have the felt and you would have the opacity around 60 percent 50 60 percent smaller color smaller size and you go underneath that layer you just added and you started to add this in the background to, to make what you just added pop more a little like pop a little bit more. So you can see that you are keep adding the li little interesting detail and texture to the object you just you just visited or you just created. And we're gonna we're gonna do that a lot. I'm not sure the camera actually helps. So I want people to actually focus on the object I'm creating rather than me as a person because I'm not important. The painting is always important. Um, So for now, when we kind of narrow our eyes and look at this object we created, we can feel like it's getting there and getting more and more close to what we wanted to achieve. And if we see something like too pop or too kind of shine, we can just tune it down a little bit. Since we just did the dark color, we probably want to visit that with a even more warmer color by pressing this button. Can we add one more layer? Um. 
We wanted to use the um, the pink color to really kind of emphasize some of the shiny pop glowing effect. The ideal effect would be the, the when the pink is floating on the river, and then you kind of focus on the uh, glowing pink color. You will feel convinced that these are indeed some of the lotus leaf that was floating on the river, and this is something we're trying to achieve right here. So with this type of painting, I you can go infinitely into details and you can stop at somewhere telling calling a stop. So to determine when you stop, besides being highly personal, is that you took certain random spot and zoom in and see whether you're happy with the detail. And if you are, probably you should stop because you completely random select the, uh, the samples. It sounds super, super scientific almost, but that's how I would do things. Um, we wanted to go to one layer to compensate, we just created by going to the purple layer and we wanted to have purple layer. And you, if you're watching this, you can turn off the sound and just turn on the music and and take a look at this painting. And if that makes you feel happy and peaceful, just stare at it. If not, <laughs> feel free to check out some of my previous videos. I feel like someone's putting me on their radar or something, so therefore I have an audience that was kind of relatively quiet. to green and transparent we want to have some of the leaf actually pop through As if the river is popping up some of the color, colorful lotus leaf, as if the river is digesting some of them. It's like a natural, natural experience, a natural system. So 
So what I wanted to kind of focus focus in here is that when the user, the audience, look at the graph, and they immediately know what it is, but it still makes them feel interesting to look further and look deep. And if you guys have kids that wanted to learn digital painting and stuff, um, let me know. I can start some of the kids-friendly tutorial because I like to teach kids uh, they are a blank piece of paper that you can teach them something they learn so fast you feel like you actually accomplish a lot because your their potential is on kind of is undiscovered and you will find yourself surprising to the kind of kind of uh, how fast they advance into the art field compared to certain adults. You will be surprised to see people's potential. through the same rule as dark layer, warm layer, cold layer, warm layer, dark layer, light layer, this kind of contrast, contrasting differently. And the uh, different contrasting will be conveyed to the user, to convey to the audience. And it has this uh, perfect balance of the color. Still dreamy, but you wouldn't lose too much focus on these on this interesting t ob object. So this one is highly inspired by Monet. H um, because of my, uh, I'm also nearsighted. I have nearsight issues with my eyes. What Monet has seen is similar to what I see with our contact lenses. So I completely understand when I visit his art gallery where he just depicts certain lotus leaf with no clear defined edge and sometimes it's a blob of kind of popping color with no clear outline. I, I understand it. It's four, almost five. I'm drinking coffee right now. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight, like usual. So if you're new to this channel and if you find this uh, type of stream is interesting, uh, feel free to subscribe me and feel free to explore other kind of art tutorial. Sometimes I play, actually every day I play Animal Crossing, so feel free to, to check on that as well. I just contribute anything I can contribute to make this world more peaceful. At least make pe make people feel better. 
because I would appreciate if someone is out there to make me feel better. can go with some deeper some bright color and we can on the top layer we can create some of the highlighting area with the very shiny color default so we have set an object that was that was very shiny and also almost like a glowing glowing piece of almost like a jewelry jewelryish feeling so and also as you can see on this canvas we already have this very busy looking harmony looking kind of a river of lotus to make a center piece of the lotus we depict we need to kind of go back to details with these and kind of make them highlight a little bit and If you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe or follow or subscribe. With subscription, I think you need the uh, Amazon Prime will be free, will give you a free subscription or something. And you don't need to spend any money on that. I myself use that and I accidentally <laughs> gift my free subscription away on something else. I don't even know I did that. <laughs> so be careful a little bit in the beginning, just don't toggle around. Um, so, let's see. We're getting very close to what we, we created. Just need to make the river more convincing. We're making the highlighting area more convincing to the audience. Like a one layer depth. a little bit texture to that use a blob of color to dab on
I remember I've seen something similar by an artist in the past. I thought it's Monet, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So if I remember it wrong, and if someone else has、uh, pointed out that it's actually not Monet, then I would like to apologize if I got it wrong and it's not Monet. I remember I visited the Mon- Monet Gallery. Back then, when they have this art show of Monet, there are probably some younger artist who is、uh, creating art piece as the、uh, some sort of a art gallery or art giveaway. And I remember that some painting like this actually grabs my attention. It depicts some pink, r- pink, glowing lotus on top of this black river. Beautiful, and I kind of take that painting into my mind, thinking this is a re- really good art piece, and I, c- I think I can create something similar. I thought it's Monet, but now I think about the tiny details. Monet could. Probably it's not gonna be this bold in using colors. This is a really bold way of using colors. So I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, you guys feel free to correct me. I'm still like checking my. I'm still checking my、um, Twitch thing, and I have no idea where to check who gave me a raid. And why all of a sudden I have a surge with audience who is quiet, <laughs> and I don't know why.、I'm、trying to figure it out. Dabs of interesting little painting like a cell.、Mm. So we have this area covered, and we are quite happy with the results. We're gonna do that for the rest. By doing that, we need to sample the color, and probably give it an earthy tone. This reminded me of the、uh, San Antonio mall, where they have the、uh, Mexican festival with the color of light orange and pink and purple. Light orange, pink, and purple all together make it this really festive look, and I'm very impressed by them. And this color use remind me of that. Raise the border on the top a little bit more, and keep the color to some extent so that we be happy with the result. Same here. So here is the painting that we're gonna create. Like we have created today, 
we can always add more details to it. Let's see, we go closer and we wanted to see, okay, here's a little scratch right here. We wanted to cover that. We can always go cover those scratches. Or if there's a tip of the color we wanted to emphasize, we can always go here and just cover those tips and make those go pointed up. Flower has veins, and flower has pops, and lotus, and certain type of lotus will have these uh, interesting little. But that was in the background, and we're gonna have the uh, lotus on top of these. Uh, like we're gonna have buds like that a lot, but because of the fact we're creating this dreamy look. We don't want that to take away audience focus, so we decided to make the uh, background a little bit blurry. That's what we're doing here, we're just basically adding texture to the background. If it's too noisy, then we take it away to make it simple. We basically simplify our background a little bit. And feel free to ask me questions if you have any questions with the steps. I would be happy to answer them. Also use the eraser to take away the uh, the interesting outline you just you just did. Free free to take these away. They're too not too much. And then you can use a pencil or use some other tools to highlight certain parts. Like this one, I would like to highlight a little bit. Interesting flower bud that was hiding there. We wanted to show that to the audience that we have the ability to show the details to them. And as I said in the in the previous section of the video, the closer the object is, the bigger it looks. And we wanted to we wanted to take care of that part as well. So now we have the uh, lotus and the details taken care of. If we examine the painting, we probably will be happy with the result. If not, we just go visit and take away some of the over excess details. Take certain over details away. And make sure that they don't t take too much of attention. And Make sure that we have
it's always interesting to add more and more details to this and um, you can also add in texture to certain very close to our feet at least have a few details like that show a little bit things to be able to show certain things to this. So our post impressionist I wouldn't call it post impressionist but uh, it's close to post impressionist. Our post impressionist a lot of painting on the river is completed and uh, thank you guys for watching and stay with me the whole time uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I'm glad you guys are here from the beginning to the end with me some of them are very nice to just drop by and say hi to me I appreciate it Thanks a lot. I'm gonna put my signature and I think I'm gonna call it today. Today. put our signature at right on the corner and save the progress and what's cool about this app is that oh hello again Mac Mac <laughs> I want to show you guys the uh, the entire video of how this is made just to kind of as a summary I had a lot of joy creating this and feel very very peaceful export them to JPEG just save them right there I'll see you guys uh, in my next video and if not today tomorrow today I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing right after this and after that I'm gonna basically call it a day I'll see you then.